My mind is telling me no, but my body, my body is telling me yes. How do? Welcome back to Irredeemable Figures, and here's Sexy Spider-Man. <coughs> I bought this figure for approximately two pounds, ages and ages ago, from a nice old man who seemed to, <laughs> seemed to just be selling everything that is good grandson had ever grown out of <coughs> every time I go back he never has any new stock so I'm guessing they just turn up and hope for the best every week but I've pretty much took everything <laughs> everything that was of worth to me so now I don't even look at the stall but yes two pound spider-man I was I wasn't going to buy him originally because He's not a legend. At first glance, I just thought it was a really crap Spider-Man figure, but on closer inspection, I noticed it had a lot of articulation. And that was enough to make us keep thinking about it whilst I was at the market, so eventually I just turned around, went and bought it for... Oh, thank you very much to whoever texted us there. Perfect timing. I'm not going to cut that out. Forget it. But yes, yeah, I turned around, picked it up, and I'm very happy with it. The, the main thing that made us turn around and have to pick this up was the head sculpt, because it's. I've, I haven't seen it on any other Spider Man. Like, I'm, I personally haven't seen it on any other Spider Man. But I'm, I'm not saying it's never been on a Spider Man, though. But. Anyway, it was unique enough for us to turn around and pay me measly two pounds to pick this bad boy up. And he's got a lot of things wrong with him. For instance, when I bought him, his right leg totally seized up. When I got home, I had to crack it open, check it. They super glued it on the inside, obviously, because why would you super glue it on the outside? But they super glued it, stiff, and... I just found that to be silly, so I cracked it apart and now it turns. Not that I pose them much, but you know, if it's got a point point of articulation, I want a point of articulation, god damn it. But yes. Uh yeah. Let's have a look at this unique head sculpt. Can anyone say Deadpool? No. Can anyone say Michael G. Fox playing Spider Man? Oh, it's not rattling anymore. His arms destroyed that joke. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Radley head. Radley head. Radley head. Anyway. Enough of that offensive stuff. Yeah. <coughs> this is a bloody cool figure. It's obviously not as good as the modern iteration of Spider-Man, which is BOOM! Amazing Spider-Man from the film. From the last wave of Marvel Legends that England had. I know America's had the Guardians of the Galaxy and the X-Men wave since these, but nope. Well, we we're, we're still dealing with Spider-Man. Not enough people have bought them, I guess. I don't know how it works. Hasbro... Are they terrible at their job? I don't know. I sh Maybe I should ring them and ask them what the hell the problem is. But yep, yeah, we've still got Spider-Man taking up space on the tie shelves. At least he is a really good figure. I love this figure. But yes, it's all about this guy. Let's take a look at the articulation. First off, the head is useless. It doesn't look up or down. It just you can move it, it doesn't do anything. It's terrible. But, you know. It's neck swivels. That is a long... Is that an unusually long neck, or does it, is it just a weird looking neck? I don't know, that is an ugly neck. Yes. The arms... Whew, full 360. They go up. They go down that much. They don't go all the way down to the side. Not, I should stop putting my hand in the way. <coughs> They're not. It's not the most flexible. 
in a previous attempt at doing, uh, doing this video and things falling down uh, I tried to push it down and the arm just flew off it, it that's as far as it goes it's not great it's not gonna be it was made in 2001 this is pre legends this is it's a year before legends <clears throat> I think it's in the I think it's in the in the midst of spider-man classics so could it be a Spider-Man Classics? It doesn't say Tibers anywhere. All it says is on the one of the feet. Made in China. 2001. Doesn't say Tibers. Mattel. <laughs> Whatever. Doesn't have any of that. I've looked on his legs. Nothing. This is a schizophrenic review. I'm going over. Part of the articulation. Has the... A really weird diaphragm thing. And it does this. Oh, well, I guess it would be nice if I could touch your body. I know not everybody has got a body like me. They can swing around 360. But I guess it's super great. Yeah. Legs go up. Full Van Damme. Let's. Full Van Damme. What have you been hunting, Spider Man? Pink flamingos. Have you seen any pink flamingos? Why do I sound like Antonio Banderas? Yes. <clears throat> the legs double jointed, just like the arms are double jointed. Swivel at the calf. Basic up and down, and it has the tutti articulation. These are some of the best looking articulated toes I've seen. I really like this. The proportion isn't huge like Patriots and isn't super, super stumpy like Asgardians. I, I preferred Asgardians but, as opposed to Patriots. But this, this beats them both, in my opinion. Which is sad considering it's like, what? Five years before? They'd had five years behind them, and then they, they, they got it right the first time, but they kept messing with it. Yep. Yeah, and that's basically everything about them, apart from the paint job. Yes, let's talk about the paint job. It's the sculpting. All the lines are recessed. It's not just. It's not a paint job. Like uh, the the new. It, what's it called? The, the irredeemable Spider Man. It's not, it's not just a paint job like this. This is a brilliant figure as well. No, it's one of the old sculpty jobs. All the lines are sculpted. It has this awful King Leonidas from 300 paint job on the abs. Like someone just took a Sharpie. But we're just going to choke that up to it being 2001 and them being slightly incompetent. <clears throat> Same at the back. No subtlety, just full on shoppy lines. Terrible. Yeah. No shading on the blue to speak of. Which. I want to point out something. The hands. Are these made for something? Because it's obviously not a... Unless Spider-Man ha had incredibly thick webbing, I don't think that is quite subtle enough for webbing. Is it? Does he come with two cups of coffee? Hey, I got your cup of coffee, Mary Jane. Fuck off, Spider-Man. What is this accent? I don't fucking know. Uh, but uh, I think maybe this came with a bike of some kind. Maybe a spider bike. Well, I hope a spider bike, because if he had a bat bike, that would be redundant. But yes, that is my that is my best guess. If anyone knows, put them in the comments. I will read them and check out any suggestions. All in all, if you can find this for two pounds, I'd say buy it. It's good. 
definitely buy this one. Get out of here.